What's up everybody? Welcome to Bricks and Toys. Today is a recap episode and a touch-up episode to maybe answer any pending questions or anything that's on my mind. I want to share some sales numbers with you guys on the sale and just kind of take a second to breathe, relax, and just talk about this last month and kind of close out the month of July because it has been for me personally, a really crazy month in my personal life, in this channel, in just e-commerce and selling. It's just, it's been crazy and I want to take a second and relax and I want to relax with you guys and just talk about it all with you guys. This will be the last full length video of July and then we have August to where I don't know what's going to happen in August, but Fingers crossed for the best. So starting off, I want to talk about the channel. We will get to sales of Lego sets and stuff very shortly. So first off, I want to start this segment of video off talking about channel numbers, acknowledging you guys and saying thank you. We will get into the sales numbers of this stuff very shortly, but I think this is very important because I've been so busy with moving that I don't feel like I've been very good in the comment sections. I don't feel like I've been very good at saying thank you. My filming schedule has been all over the place. Certain videos are filmed the day before they came out. Some videos were filmed the week before they came out. It's just been really crazy. So I kind of wanted to kick it off from the top. I ain't going to go over my shorts. I'm only going to go over full length videos. And, you know, the reason that this is important to me is because as a channel creator or a content creator, I notice as usual with every channel in the beginning of the month, there's loads of hype and there's lots of views. In the second half of the month, the views dip and, you know, you want to get all your good content out in the first two weeks of the month, 14 days, and all your lesser important content out after the fact. And what was crazy about all this, and again, it did affect me mentally, you know, and it did stress me out a little bit, was even starting in June with all those new sets that came out, the cat, the radio, the Harry Potter, the views were just dipped, like, the algorithm gods were not with me, and I was like, gosh, dang, man, this is, this is rough. Like, I, I don't know if, you know, what's going to happen, because usually I don't have low views in the first 14 days. The second half of the month, yeah, I mean, I'm cool with that, because that's just the way it is. But to have low subs and low views and everything in the first half of June, like, my biggest video was the June haul, and then after that, it just got worse and worse and worse. That was that was heavy. And you know what's crazy about it is I bought so much sets to review for the channel in June. And for it to do that was just like, okay, you know what? Sometimes that happens. But this month in July, I only bought, what, five, four new sets? Two packs of Brickheads, Simba, and the Countach. And then we had some leftover that we had to get built from the month before and the month before that. And you know what? We did really well, and it's so baffling because it just comes to show that content creating isn't about the money you put in necessarily, but what are you creating and who are you as an entertainer? Sometimes the numbers and things, they don't lie, and sometimes they don't add up, and you know, this month has been a trip. I want to kick off this recap talking about the July 1st store haul. That video did 1.3 thousand views. And you know what's crazy about it is I only bought four sets. I took a relaxed day with my kiddos to go down to the Lego store. And it was very uneventful. I just refilmed what I filmed the month before because while well, it wasn't as busy and I thought maybe it would, it would be better. And yet 1.3 thousand of you guys watched that video. So I want to say thank you. And that is incredible. I was not expecting that turnaround. I was expecting maybe 100, 200 views, but no, we clearly did better. And I'm really, I'm, I'm really happy. Thank you. Then I sent off the video of me talking about my local Lego reseller and how I'm not happy with the numbers that they gave me. And 
you know, we're gonna kind of touch back on that in this video because some of those sets I did try to sell again, and I did, and you guys will know how bad that they could have screwed me. But that only did 361, and I thought that would do more, but I'm kind of glad that it didn't because I really don't want to be known for doing videos like that. So 361 on that one and a lot of comments, <laughs> of course. Then we hopped in and did the Lamborghini Countach. That did 288. Then we did the first video of destroying the Lego City, 341. Then we did the Lego Harry Potter Triwizard Tournament. That got 173. And that's a shock to me because all the other Lego Harry Potter sets, Buckbeak and the Plant, they all didn't do well, but yet the Triwizard Tournament did really good in my opinion. Then we hopped back and destroyed the Lego City some more, 431 views. Then we did Simba. Simba did 128. I did not expect that. I thought maybe I'd get 60 on that. And, and then we destroyed the Lego City Amusement Park, the 191 views. Then we get, did 213 views on the 2019 Millennium Falcon. What in the heck? I mean... 2019 Millennium Falcon, over 200 views just reviewing that. I did not expect that from you guys, so thank you. Then we hopped back and destroyed the forest, the, and that was the last part of the city to destruction. 225 views. And then as of recently, we have the August update video for 236 views. I will have a video out between this one and that one about the Mars rover. You guys will have seen it by that time. But I, I have not got that video out yet, so, you know, that's up there. But 236 views just on the August update. So we have done a lot of freaking views, guys. 23,000 views in the last 30 days, 83 subscribers. And, you know, that's just, you know, I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm thankful. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. It means so much to my heart that I'm working so hard to get my family relocated to a better town, a better place, get out of Vegas, get out of this toxic environment that we're in, and just do better for ourselves. And I'm not paying attention to the numbers or anything, but when I sit down at night and everything calms down, the lights are about to go off, and, you know, the new day begins, you know, I, I look at the numbers one more time and I see them and I'm just like, I, I just want to say thank you. And that's what this whole part of me talking about the views are. It's just me saying thank you so much. Like, I appreciate you guys so much for watching the videos. I suffered really hard in June with the views and to be actually suffering in life and yet the views are doing great. Uh, it means the world to me. It's, it, it, it really pulls at my heart because I'm just, I don't have time to be doing this and I'm forcing every video out in between such a hectic schedule of getting this house, you know, good for resale and getting my family where we can get out of here. And you guys are just working in, in the background and supporting me. And I'm just, I'm, I, I'm very thankful. This last couple weeks has been really hard on me because like I said, we did get this house listed. It is currently for sale. We are having people come into the house within 30 minutes notice to come and take a look. So it's always it's always kind of hectic because it's like, oh, we got to clean in 30 minutes, make sure everything looks good for, for people viewing. And, you know, it's just intense. I mean, I'm going through some stuff, but that's not the point. So that's enough of the views and why it matters. I wanna talk about the sales. You guys know that I recently sold a ton of Lego sets, and I have a spreadsheet here pulled up that I wanna go over with you guys. In total, I sold 62 sets out of 69 that I originally was going to sell. I ended up saving the Blacktron Cruiser promo. I ended up saving some other little ones, and I saved the UCS Razor Crest. So the numbers I wanna share with you guys Go back into that second video that I filmed against a local reseller. I wanted to do this video to go over and show you guys how bad they are doing their business in comparison to if I was to use e-commerce or selling locally. And this is also to all the people that said, well, you could have just sold it yourself. I was in an emergency. I didn't have time. This spreadsheet alone took me two weeks to sell all of this stuff. Two weeks, my cat would have been dead. So 
I kind of had to get things going that day. But anyway, guys, starting off with the Creator 3-in-1 Space Roller Coaster. I wanted $65 for that set. I sold it for $40. Now, if I was to sell that set on eBay, 15% plus a calculated shipping of $5 to $10, I still would have made $40 on that set. So what I sold it for, $25 less than what I wanted, would have been what I would have made on eBay. The Icons Loop Coaster, I wanted $250. I made $175 in person. And maybe on eBay, I would have made 180 to 190 on eBay. So again, selling yourself versus eBay, pretty much a break even. Next up was the, was the Haunted House. 250, I sold that for 175. I could have made 180, 190. Next up was the Grand Emporium. I wanted 250, I made 175. I could have made about 190 on eBay. Next up, Bookshop. 180, I made it 120. I would have made about 120 to 130 if I would have sold on eBay. The Palace Cinema, I wanted 250, I made 175. I would have made 180 to 190 if I would have sold on eBay. Fire Brigade, $350, I made 245, and if I would have sold on eBay, 270 to 280. The Parisian Restaurant, mine was a little weird, I sold it for $200. I ended up making about $90 on it. If I would have sold it on eBay, if I would have made $140, $150. The Town Hall, I wanted $650. I paid $1,000 just a few months ago for it new. I ended up selling it to one of you guys out there. So thank you out there to the guy who bought it to, for $575. If I would have sold it on eBay, I would have made probably $500 to $520. So thank you to the subscriber that did buy that. The A-frame cabin that was incomplete, I paid $90 from the local reseller for a couple months ago. I wanted $80 for it. I got $60 and you know with eBay fees, I would have probably made $60. The passenger train, the one that used to go around the city, I wanted $100 bucks for it. I got $60 bucks for it. But with eBay, I probably would have made about $50 bucks on eBay for it. The Lego store promo, I did sell that on eBay. And the ones I sell on eBay, you will see how hard eBay shipping and eBay fees actually ding you compared to my rough estimates that I have said before. So the promo store, I wanted $37.99 for it. I sold it after shipping for $23.85. The Easter chickens promo bag, I wanted $4.98. For those promos, I made $1.77 off of the Easter chickens. The X-Wing poly bag, I made 59 cents off of those, and I sold it for $2.78. The Brickheads Battle of Indoor, I did sell that here. I wanted $45 for that pack. I ended up making 20. If I would have sold it on eBay, I probably would have made about 20 to 30. The Cohen Sake Jesco, I did sell that on eBay for $27.93. Take home was about $17.13 on that set. The Tatooine Homestead, I sold that on eBay for $14. I made $3.30 on that set. I lost $9 shipping that set. The Brickheads Mandalorian and the Child, I sold it for $13.99, took home $6.94. The Jurassic Park Polybag Dinosaur Market, I sold it for $5.48 took home $2.38. The retro food truck that I sold on eBay, I got $29.99, took home $16.23. The promo of the Year of the Dragon, I sold them both for $16.99, and I took home about $9.50 a piece for those. The promo Love Gift Box, I sold those for about $11 a piece, and each of those I took home about four dollars then i did sell the other x-wing poly bag for four dollars and 19 cents took home eight cents total on that one lost my butt the speed champions 007 aston martin db5 i sold that for 19.99 took home eight dollars and 27 cents the star wars republic fighter tank i did sell that locally i wanted 55 dollars. i ended up getting paid 20. i probably would have made 30 to 40 on ebay the Brickheads 100, I sold that on eBay for $21, made $7.89 on that. The Star Wars VIP Battle of Yavin coin, $8.99 is what I sold it for. $2.75 is what I took at home. The Trade Federation Troop Carrier promo, I wanted $40 for it. I sold it locally for $20, and I probably would have made about $20 to $30 on that on eBay. 
The water park, I sold it on eBay for $9.99. I took home $3.19. The Mars Research Show from 2019, I sold that on eBay for $10. Took home $2.05. The Flower Store Promo, I sold that on eBay for $14.99. Took home $7.89. The Magistico's Magical Workshop, I sold that for $9.50 on eBay. Took home $2.42. The Guardian ship, I sold that locally. I wanted 80. I took home 70. I would have paid probably 50 to 60 on eBay. The Architecture Big Ben, I sold that on eBay for $17.99, and I got $10.26 after everything. The Star Wars Razor Crest, I sold that for $74.99 on eBay, and again took home $63.83. The Resistance A Wing, I sold that locally. I wanted 30. I got 15. I would have paid probably 15 to 20 after eBay. Pirate Ship Playground, I sold that on eBay for five, as well as the Scary Pirate Island. On both of those, I took home about a dollar. The City Sailboat set, I sold it for $8.99 on eBay, took home about $3.03. The Creator 3-in-1 Beach Camper Van, I sold that for $19.99, took home $8.47. The City Combo Race Pack, I sold that on eBay for $10.99, took home $4.80. The 3-in-1 Roadster from 2012, I sold that for $11.69, took home $6.13. The Creator Coffee Cart, I sold that for $12.99 on eBay, took home $6.20. The Miles Morales vs. Morbius car, I sold that on eBay for $6, took home $0.06. And then the fireworks promotion set, I wanted to get about $20 for those, but I did list them locally for $10. I sold them both for $5. On eBay, I probably would have made $5 to $10 on them anyway. The adventure rides, I did not get very good money for those. The space adventure ride, which is what these are, I got $16.99 for one on eBay, took home $9.54. I sold the next two for $10, took home $5 a piece on those. I still have the Fantasy Adventure Ride to sell right here. And then coming down to the bottom of the list, I did sell the Porsche 911 RSR. I wanted $100. I took home $80. And eBay would have been about $70 to $80 is what I would have made on that set anyway, but I sold it locally. Also locally, I sold the Audi RS Q e-tron. I wanted $100. I took home $80, and I would have made probably about the same on eBay as, as the other set. Sonic Tails Workshop Tornado Plane, I sold that on eBay for $14.99, took home $8.14. The White Wing Starfighter, I sold that locally. I wanted $70, I took home $60. On eBay, I would have made $50 to $60 bucks on it. And here is where it all comes down. The UCS Venador that I was offered $100 for, I sold that for $400 locally. I want it $400. On eBay, I probably would have got $280 for it on eBay. The UCS Gunship, I wanted $250 for it. I was paid $250 for it, and I probably would have made $140 to $190 on eBay for that set. And lastly, Star Wars Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, I want it $25. I sold it for $15. On eBay, I probably would have made $15. In total, I had about $4,500 that I wanted to make, and I made about $3,000 of it locally, and I made about another $264 on eBay for a total of about $3,264. And that's the numbers, everybody. What a lot of selling. What a big two weeks. I still have one more set to sell for $10. Bucks. What makes it hard is you, you have to do free shipping in order to compete, and... With free shipping, it's just killer. And if you do charge for shipping, eBay takes fees out on the money you get paid for shipping. So if someone pays you, say, $40 to ship an item and an item's $40, you're getting 15% removed out of that $40 of your shipping. So you're still out on shipping. So there is no clear way to win to sell your sets except for to find a good person and sell them to. Like I said, I sold the Town Hall to a subscriber, thank you, and I also sold a lot of the early sets like the Loop Coaster, Emporium, Bookshop, Palace Cinema to another young 17-year-old kid who's trying to get his collection started, and I sold him a ton of sets for only $1,400, and to me, 
that was still better than what eBay would have paid me for all of those sets and still way better than what the local reseller would have paid me for all of those sets. But I really got to help someone's collection and that's what means the most to me as a collector. I love my Lego. My Lego is not about money, but at the end of the day, it is an investment and I cannot lose sight of an investment just because I'm in love. So you really got to walk the line there. So that is the sales. That's the subscriber recap. That's just me saying thank you and also to show you guys what it actually looks like to focus down, barrel down, and try to sell without going to a local reseller. That's what the numbers look like. That's what you can expect. That's why you go to a local reseller because if you're only going to make a dollar on a set selling it on eBay, you might as well go try to make 50 cents from the local reseller because is it worth getting an extra 50 cents when you got to go to a post office, drop it off, yada, yada? I mean, let's think about it. So with that, everybody, that concludes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't much action in it, and I know it's really boring not seeing anything behind me while I talk, but I really wanted to share all this information with you guys and say thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Things are going to keep getting more hectic for me until maybe September when I get settled in up north. But um, I just want to say I appreciate you guys in this time that I'm really trying to um, trying to survive. So with that, if you guys want to, you guys can support the LEGO channel just by hitting the thank you button down below. When you guys hit that button down below, you guys can donate. And anything you guys donate helps the LEGO channel, even though you don't see anything behind me. It's in the garage. It exists. As usual, if you guys can like the video and share it with your friends, that'd be much appreciated. Of course, you can, you can support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and following along with everything that we do. That's always appreciated. Up next on the channel is another short, but I think we're going to be doing a full store haul. And there's a lot of good things that I want to show you guys that I look forward to buying. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and not miss that store haul video. And with that... That concludes the full videos of July. I am out. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a good one. See you in August.